Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. This is the very first video of the series 3 minute course to Power BI Beginners. In this series we are going to explain from zero to the top level uh, details regarding the Power BI, what are the different components of Power BI, how to use it, how to publish it, how to make your reports more effective, how to apply the best practices etc. So stay tuned with us and hit the bell icon for latest updates and subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. In this video, we are going to discuss about Power BI and its components. Let's start with the very first question. What is Power BI? Power BI is a business analytics service by Microsoft, which was first released to general public in 2015. This is the very first tool by Microsoft which is based on self-service BI. It provides interactive visualizations and business intelligence capabilities with simple and easy to learn user interface. Power BI lets you easily connect to hundreds of data sources whether it's an Excel, PDF, website, on cloud or on-premise databases. Discover the insights behind those and share that info to anyone within your organization or it's also possible to share outside your organization but there are certain conditions behind that let's discuss about the parts of power bi so basically there are four parts of power bi one of them is the power bi desktop power bi desktop is for the developers who are responsible for creating reports and dashboards and this is a free application can be downloaded from the microsoft uh, download portal the second one in this one is the Power BI service. Power BI service is based on Microsoft Azure platform and this is the place where after creating the reports, the developers has to publish over there so that they can share this report with the organization whether it's a management or executive level or their peers, etc. The number third is the Power BI mobile app. This app has been designed with a view that data can be shared to anyone, anywhere and they can uh, use these dashboards or reports on the go. For example, if I talk about the management executives, they are generally uh, traveling from one country to another or one place to another and in that one it's very difficult to open the laptop and view the reports etc. So with, with this help, with the help of this application, they can view the reports or dashboards on the go on their tablets on their mobile phone and the last one is the power bi report server power bi report server is the on premise solution because we know that many of the organizations they don't trust very much on the cloud they don't want they are unlikely to put their data on cloud rather than they still trust to put their data on premise where they have the more control over the security so this Power BI report server is the on-premise solutions from the Microsoft Power BI. Now let's see what is the general Power BI workflow. So first of all, the Power BI desktop application, you have to connect it with the data sources. That and data sources can be of any type. So we can connect right now hundreds of the data sources with the Power BI, which can include web, SQL server, on-premise databases, Amazon Web Services, etc. After that, uh, the developer has to ingest this data into the Power BI where they can uh, use the Power Query for the ETL purpose where they can massage the data and they can do certain transformations. And once everything is done, the report layout has been created and all, then they have to publish it into Power BI services and share with the users where they are going to render the report. And the last is the creating the dashboards of the report so once our uh, the, once the power bi report has been published on the power bi uh, services there uh, the developers they can also create the dashboards dashboards basically contains the information from the multiple reports and this is the way how to view all the data uh, information at a single page 
Now, since we have already discussed about the Power BI Report Server and Power BI Report Services, so definitely there would be a question like what are the basically difference between these two? The very important difference definitely the Power BI Report Server is the on-premise solution for the Power BI uh, reports or dashboards, uh, but the Power BI uh, Services is the on-cloud uh, solution for that one. So let's discuss a few very important points, the main key differences between two. The very first is the deployment. So in case of the deployment, uh, Power BI report server is hosted on on-premise as I discussed with you earlier or uh, the Power BI uh, services that is hosted on the cloud services by the, that is also known as the Azure, Azure services by Microsoft. The second point is the uh, sources of data or the data sources. So in case of uh, both uh, the report server or the services, user can connect with any uh, any number of data sources so there is no limitation uh, or the there is no difference between this one now when it comes to the licensing so power bi report server it comes with the power bi premium or we can also bundle it with the sql server enterprise edition with software assurance license so in that case it would come automatically with that one but in case of power bi uh, services there are different licenses for the users who are willing to develop their reports or publish their report on Power BI service that can be Power BI free. Free comes with the for individual only. It won't give you the uh, that kind of functionality that you can share with the organization. But there are the others like Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium and Power BI Embedded as well which is basically used to embed the Power BI reports into the website. Next one is the re release cycle over there. So for Power BI uh, report server the release cycle is three times a year Jan, May and September however for Power BI services it's just once in a month if we talk about the creating the uh, Power BI reports in Power BI desktop yes both has the capability then creating the Power BI reports in the browser so in case of uh, Power BI report server unfortunately we don't have this kind of uh, uh, facility or the functionality available but in case of Power BI services yes uh, the developers or the BI analyst can go over there and they can create their reports over there. Now comes to the Power BI desktop so there is a bit of uh, difference between the Power BI desktop for the Power BI report server and Power BI services in case of uh, Power BI report server there is a dedicated Power BI desktop app which is also known as uh, optimized for report server and in case of Power BI services, uh, it's just uh, simple the uh, version optimized for Power BI services. So what, what's after this video? Well, after this video, the second video would be on features of Power BI in detail, specifically the Power BI desktop and Power BI services and the licenses under this one. So guys, subscribe our channel and stay tuned.